Hi and welcome back to another Best of Times Reborn YouTube video. I'm your host Brad. It's currently 12.19pm, a more busy time of the day. It is 30.9 degrees Celsius. And it's March, Tuesday, March the 26th. So we're going to have a bit of a walk through to town, but we're on this side of the road this time. Walking in, so on the, uh, the left hand side of the road, the Glindy Hill Hotel side. So I want to show a bit more detail than usual. Sometimes I start doing these and then ended up end up walking too fast and that. But so you can see what it's like on the other side of the road from here. So looking across, so you can see the fronts of buildings better. Because usually I'm on the other side and you can see across like the Gundy Hill Hotel, the service stations and that. This time I want to show both as much as I can. So here's the gardening and the new pathway they put in last year. This is between the family barber shop and railway street. So we might have to speed up sometimes just to beat the rain and that. There's rain up the table ends direction, like dark clouds that, that way. Here's your family barber and the Jasmine's Thai massage. Oh, it's the first time in ages I've ever seen that close. It's usually seven days a week. The, um, the time outside, that is. Oh, yeah, sorry, we are closed. It's usually open seven days. And the family barber's back at 12.30, so there you go. Try and show as much detail as possible. It's across the old Kirby's Corner and Station Street. I have to wait for that chappy to go past so I can show a bit more. But here's your Windy Hill Hotel. Come on here. Oh, the guy went down. Station Street, so that's fine. It's Reese Plumbing. And the old Kirby's Corner. Show that while we can. And then Goodyear Auto Care, which is be Goodyear Tire and Auto, he's that written on it. service station showing as much detail as possible so when we look back we can see full-on detail oh they had so and so amount of pumps and this is the pricing and fuel prices and all these different things that you get to see when you see these videos excellent Sometimes the metro sign flickers in the videos. That's not like that in person, it's just the camera refresh rate. Can't handle it. So that one was the uh, Ampol, used to be Caltex. Still a Woolworth service station. This one used to be the Shell service station. Now it's metro. It used to be a Shell. Coal Shell. Yeah. So we're getting as much detail as possible. Auto Care, that's Castlebury Street, and the old Good Deal Bakery, just down to Innisfil Prime Motors and John Deere and others down there. Here's your metro. Show that as much as we can while we're here. Like I said, the videos are all about detail, so you can see what it was like if you were here and you were coming along and that. 
camping out here just because you want to see what it's like. Catherine Road, Coast Battery Centre. Just down the side. Continue along. Show back in a minute. There's people there, so out of privacy. I like to not show too much. There's your free car parking. You used to have a sign, a blue sign years ago saying free car parking. Blue and white sign. There's your metro and pole direction. Just for detail. Coming up on your mobile. There's your Innisfil Motors Group. We'll show that in a sec. And the Glindy Auto Wash. And the old, uh, the old Glindy Hill Bakery. You can have a really good look and see, oh, this is what it was like. Yep, this is how this is. Okay. Gundy Auto Wash. Oh, that's where that business was. Yep. Oh, I remember that. Oh, I'd forgotten that existed. Yeah, you get those situations out of these sort of videos. Nostalgia, looking back. Uh, yeah, there's your mobile. There's some really nice cloud formations up there too. Probably see through this. It is the mobile service station. The sign doesn't usually flicker on this one. The LEDs must be a bit different. If it does, well, I can't see it flickering in person. But there's your fuel price. It is a busier hour of the day, so I can't stand at things, showing things as long as I would like to. A lot of cars, you know, trying to pull in here and all that. There's your mobile. Yes, taxis used to call it the mobile central because we had another mobile out near the caravan park on the highway and then we had the Pezzolotto's one. All right. This is your mobile service station, 24 hour. 180, Kabuta Street and the Gundi Auto Wash. Hopefully one day when you watch this, they've done this up, all the cement or unified, not just this big hodgepodge of cement along here. It can be a bit yuck, like when you walk along this part here, be, be careful, some of it's all crumbled. Not that good. It's your 180 Edith. It's chic. Best Buy carpet vinyl, vinyl planks. Did that barley drop for north for a fair while there. Corner of Michael Street and Eda Street, Bruce Highway, if you want to call it. Sundown Engineering. Down there's the MRT Couriers. It's a 180. comes a tra Trans North bus, so we'll show that. Show what we had at the time. It's always good to show the infrastructure and what was here. Bridgestone. The old sign is showing through up there. Hasn't been Bridgestone in many years. In a few different places over the time. You can't really show some of these places because there's people working in them. Makes it a hard, bit harder to show. Some pl places don't see it as free advertising. Which, in a way it is, it's not meant to be, but it, in a way it is. There's your coastal marine and outdoors. And the signal. Tobacconist. Pelican Street, across there. Big Bridgestone and that used to be, and a few other different ones over the years you would have seen in other videos and photos over the time if you've been a regular on my channels. The old channel and this one. It's your still shop, coastal farm and motorcycles. Then we're trying to show a bit of detail. Some, some places will just stop because we haven't shown us much as often. And we'll show the outside. So you get an idea of what was here and what it was about, what they, what sort of things they sold. Well, that just 
just add to the experience. Here's where that Best Buy carpet and all that was here. Carpet and vinyl. And the rock shop was here. RJ's furniture removals, I guess, are still there. So the sign's still there. And there's the door open. Hmm. Came out on Gordon Street. It is Maurice Grasset Motors across the road. Anyone has any photos of any of these places from over the years, different places it used to be in these locations, feel free to put them on old new winners file photos on Facebook. Much appreciated. It's Gordon Street, you can see the remnants of the Best Buy sign here. Well, I can, hopefully it shows up in video. The remnants of Best Buy written there. And no, not Best Buy, that's in what America has. Sometimes variety wise, I wish they had it in Australia. Maurice Grasso Motors again. This is Grace, the Grace Street, Eater Street intersection. The traffic lights across to where Roscoe's Pizza was the second time around. Where the estate sale is, that green building there. And the old Lee X next to it, like across the car park from it. And then what used to be Rectivision and Better Home and Living. Okay, so we're going to try and cross here. Which is not always easy, it's often quite busy. So we're going to go straight down Eater Street into town as much as possible. So we can show the businesses across just for interest sake. Showing what's around, this back we just came from, as we do. Straighten the camera. Sometimes it goes off out of whack a bit. And you've got to double tap the little joystick. And it sorts it out. So there's the old Lee X and the yellow building was the old Rectivision Better Home and Living. Coming up on Page Park. Can't really show the sign because I've got to walk through the on the footpath. Page Park sign there. Through to Repco. Arena Lake sign that really needs to be done up. That one there so people can actually read it and see that it's there. I mean, I can read it because I know it's there, and I can see it, so I'm closer to it, but the average Joe Blow wouldn't be able to see it driving past, and even notice it's there. But this is your page park. Needs regular maintenance, so it looks nice. Got some indigenous type stuff in there. There's little totem pole type things. Not 100% sure what they what it's all about. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I don't know if that's indigenous stuff or some other nationality, but we'll have a look anyway. Have a bit of a look. Then we've got a little bit of time to waste and fill in. You got all this stuff on here. Let me know in the comments if you know. If this is indigenous artwork or some other nationality. Because it'd be interesting to know, it looks like an owl, an owl on there. They should have a plaque here commemorating what, a, what this is meant to be. I've got other videos where you can see this a bit better if you look for Page Park. Best of times and that, and there's advanced auto electrics across there. Donald Street, just up there. Anyway, we'll go on the newer footpath, which you could do with a good clean, it doesn't look so new anymore. There's your, your Repco across there. Ibis Street, where that car's coming out of. There's Repco, show that. And where Better Home and Living used to be, Rectivision. Ibis Street, and Super Cheap Auto. And a Tesla. I'd like to point out the Teslas. People are buying them and driving them around here. They are becoming popular. I've seen many of them now in the last year or so. This is Commonwealth Hotel. 
hopefully the camera doesn't overheat. There's back toward Page Park. Hopefully it's all seeable. There's Super Jeep Auto. Make it super. Come on, hotel again. A bit more detail showing where the bottle shop is. Okay, little lawyers. Rebel Coffee. Rebel Coffee is where the green sign is. The YL Coffee, or whatever it's got written on it. It's Y Young. And the um, Super Cheap. More of an idea. Trying to walk as far as possible, but I'm used to walking fast to get out of the heat. Rain, whatever. So I'm just naturally do that. Taxis. We'll get the taxi sign. Well, we're here in the small taxis. Excellent. White wild coffee roasters. That's rebel coffee. I was wondering here, yeah, all sort of coffee they have. Okay, the boys. Yeah, the lady didn't look too impressed when she saw me. I don't know, I think people need to tell them, you know, it's, it's all harmless. He goes along doing videos. Or just ask him what he's doing. Rather than you know, looking at me like I'm nothing. It's furniture world. Pets domain. Computer solutions is where Simbab Kebab used to be. It is well building supplies. Been backpackers for years. Many years. So they're doing a bit of work there. You can see. Hope he needs it. That's where Rebel Coffee originally was. Next one here with the, the blinds on it. And there's Studio Cafe. Sitting there, I probably would have shown in the door so they can get an idea of what was there. Here's uh, back towards Computer Solutions and Pets Domain, Furniture World. It's interesting to show the transport trucks and that going past, seeing what businesses, what trucking companies were around at the time. This is Charles Street, it's KFC across there. People keep saying that KFC is moving to where Bedrock Cafe and that used to be, where it was knocked down. So it's good to show as much as possible, as long as possible. You can get an idea what it's like. There's our SEQ, what NQ power equipment. Towards the old video easy. Just start liquor warehouse now. You can go this way to Warina Lakes. Straight down. All the way down the end of the street, through in like signage, which isn't that easy to see as usual, like most things here, where they do it. Uh, Cyrus rugs since 1988. They still have Cyrus rugs in Cairns. Used to have it in Sheridan Street. But there's KFC. And this farm has to. The old location of the IC Taylors, different building. I always thought that building would have been heritage listed, and it should have been. But it wasn't. I mean, it was knocked down many years ago. Before I had the right equipment to be able to video it, sadly. There's Tech Tune, which is originally a motorbike shop in that location. The old Sepoy house. Guy on a, on a mountain bike with loud music playing through a Bluetooth speaker. It's now a nowadays version of carrying a um, carrying a boombox. Yeah, so, you know, people back in the 80s and early 90s thought they were really cool with a boombox. Well, it's like that with these people. 
go along the music. So this is coming up on Gladys Street, which is KFC signage. Show that when we're here back one minute. Another truck. It's got JAT written on it, but I think that's been taken off. It's just remnants of it showing there. It's back where we just came from. Our Tipoy house, just in case anything happens, like a, another cyclone layer and knocks it down. It's good to show it. Okay, Rand's there. Hopefully they're not parking in the EV spot. Looks like someone's going to charge their car, their vehicle, or they're just parking there and walking off. Looks like they're walking off. BCF's down there. Innisfail Dentist is down there. One that used to be in the Rising Sun building. So this is Gladys Street. And that house there, they keep talking about knocking that down, that house next to Burst and Auto Parts. Used to be all part of the Black Marlin. Had their restaurant in there. Marlin. Restaurant. Okay, we're back again. The camera overheated. I don't know how far back I'd have to walk to see. I'm just going to leave it and go from here. See how we go. But it's now currently 12.42 p.m. Same date. So we're up at, um, this is Ernest Street. There's your Roscoe's Pizza, yeah. A-I-D-A Care. Chemex. Bus stop. King George Park. Or Anzac Park with the King George Memorial Gate. Some people get really upset if you say King George, say Anzac Park, King George Park. If you say King George Park, they get upset. That's what it is. Tommy Jack's over there, Bruce Highway, slash Ernest Street. And there's Coal Supermarket, Seapoy Corner. This certainly needs, needs doing up. Been like this for a fair while. Top of the tree roots, wrecking it. Just trying to show as much detail as possible, like we always do, like we were doing earlier. That's why we stop for a bit and show locations. There's the intersection, Hungry Jacks. You have to stop soon because it'll be a bit of a around those Bunnings. Roscoe's, just trying to show that intersection while I'm here. Where it is and was. So you get an idea. Coming up, got Ice Cream Junction and EV Games. Colts Car Park runs all the way along here where Seapoys used to be. Seapoys was where the car park is. There's your Vince Martin and Co. Dental Clinic, Ray's Barber Shop, in the South Oak Way, Bidding Bank. In the cigar place. used to be a turquoise sort of building need the games here the barber shop and the ice cream junction the anti song since it used to be oh. Terry White come out across to the Nova unisex salon. So the way this is with a few people around. Huh. And a Realty across there. Bob Catter's office, Joe Vella. Insurance broker in the basement where the soup kitchen used to be. There's people doing tickets on cars. And giving people a ticket, just being there too long. Top patents and chemists, which is supposed to be moving into the Target Medical Center. 
Yep, they're writing someone up a ticket. They beware. There's inspectors going around doing that now. Again, they used to do years ago. Hi. Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, looks like they're just selling out of stock over here. The style Paddington. But there's your Bob Catters. All that, and Commonwealth Bank. Show what we can. People getting a ticket. Damage's Cafe there. Big next down there. The old Scott Real Estate, which is Westy's Barbers now, down to the taxi rank and all that. And the Chinese Joss House is down there. The Darwin Street. So Patton's and Target Health moving to there. Love to show inside of there properly. If anyone can get some photos in there, feel free to go in there. It's where K Town Chews used to be. Target Health, just here. Now we're in the shade, the camera should be fine. We don't show people using the ATM. Just common sense, it's Let Me Take Away, Campbell Real Estate, Rothney's Pharmacy, Shirley Florist, First National. And we're young swingers, McGee's and all that. The other emporium used to be where the black is on the facade. Classic Niles inspired where Kennedy's news agency used to be. Can't show that too much because it's person using the ATM. Out of respect, we don't show that. If you ever do videos and photos around, don't, don't show people using that. Now, I've watched people show it in the past in videos and it's just not right. Let's pack. OPSM, where Scott's Forest used to be. The butcher, show a little bit of detail while we're here. So you can get more of an idea. Payphone. It's free for everyone to use now in Australia. Jacket Emporium. This is a good good butcher to go to though. Always really friendly. Recent Co. Let's find them good. Not sponsored, but yeah, really good. Jill stationery. Hair manor. All the berries. Continue on. There's people sitting here. Need us get some souvenir. Leading edge, they're always good too. Leonard. That's really good. Debbie's finest. Brandon and Gulo. And where Izzy's used to be. And Dairy Queen. Well, before that, it's a tattoo place. Jeans and Cullen and Burn Travel I care plus. We'll show back where we just came from. It's just Chappie goes past. <laughs> so a bit of activity. While people are further away so you can't see their faces. For privacy there's the undercover walkway. Goes across from the re old region arcade to Oliveri's. Chemist Warehouse, Inner South Food Emporium, used to be Grand Central Hotel. Central Markets on one stage and Central Arcade. See how huge a building that is. But burn travel, IK okay, Plus. See, we don't usually get to show these things during a busy day. It's Tuesday, so showing what we can. Powerhouse Realty, property, whatever. I've got a banana, Bruce Highway, Fitzgerald Creek. That's up for sale. There you go. Trucking depot with cold rooms. So here's where um, Untie's used to be. I was about to show across there in a the car pulled in. Of course, the old ANZ. Go across there, so we can peek the camera in, poke the camera in. There's um, yeah, what Untice used to be, and um, and the next one, 
this direction. There was a butcher at one stage at the Empire Cafe. There was, before that, there was Randall Business Services and Ed Anderson's business. Here's a, Mr. Anderson, the teacher, his wife, one that used to be a teacher. He's in. Different Z in the old AMZ. Is there anyone telling us off? Can't see anyone, as usual. Yeah, the old AMZ bank. A few other different things were down the other end, APSM. Maybe health, health food shop, and so on. Only change so much. There's people around in that. It's towards the old Tanner Point Arcade down there, Woolworths, and all that. It's a courthouse. Yeah, I'm not, be, not able to show as much detail. There's a lot of people around. I knew it. I just knew it. Here's something I'll show. I showed in other videos. Quite regularly, there's really nice flowers put in here, but they're never looked after and cut a court. And last time I saw them, I thought, oh, I'll get a whole heap of photos because I know next time I come along, they won't be here. Sure enough, they're not here. The majority of them are dead. They're not watered, they're not looked after. The council just lets them go. So there's Eater Street. Eater Street down there, like where we just came from. This is Rankin Street, we're gonna go up. <laughs> there's the uh, full on Art Deco buildings. There's some down Eater Street too, which you would have seen in the other videos and that that I've shown over the years. This is straight post. The new rendering and that they've done down the side. Get rid of the bricks and that. Now that distance you hear is from my walk from home to where we are now. So I'll try not to show these people as best we can. Oh. There's your Telstra building, telecom um, exchange, as it was. And Telstra and its exchange. Mm. Yeah, this person's way. So across the road. Someone's there now. National Australia Bank, there's a tobacconist where the internet cafe was years ago. Bluebird Cafe, signage. So there. Robertson Broza. I think there should be laws put in to say that those signages have to stay no matter who owns the buildings. Here's your um where that's how advocate was for years. The uh, Zobo store was here at one stage, now it's Visibility. There we go. Thrive, Thrive, Win, Work, Work Link. A few different things written on it. Do they know what it is? Does it ever fit? Used to be downtown, it's down there. Dancing Divas, yeah. And Paris Cakes. Mm. We're graphically speaking, was for a while here. Oh. Jump across, Happy's Gym, Sapore d'Italia, Taste of Italy, where Jack Jacobus had his business there, that green one, where it says teaching, caring, learning, sharing. Now there's creative events next to it. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of businesses around. Larson's. A few others along here, the sports look. It's been here forever. Dartboard in there. Carano Hair and Beauty. Very popular. This is the only sport, proper sports store in town. It's QATE. And then Vandalore and Todd. Oh, and it's file optical. As it says on here, but it's not exactly that anymore. This dental surgery, classic building. Used to be a bank forever ago. Larson's across there. This is um, Georgia, Mat yeah, Georgia Matilda's I care for Innisfail Optical. There you go. Venua to K A E V A to you. The clothing and stuff in there, as far as I can tell. Back where it just came from, there, with it painting the shy hall. Mm. 
Queen's Hotel down library here. I'm going to show this new early photo thing they have here. Very landscapey. Good detail, because you never know, one day it may not be here, they might change it. Might fade. Library's closed because it's Easter long weekend, which is fair enough. And it continues down here. A lot of people like to hang out down here. And you've got to be careful. And unsavory types. Yeah, we can't get back far enough to really show the detail of this. There's not much room to do it. Yeah. Libraries Monday 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Tuesday through to Friday 9 to 5, and then Saturdays 9 to 12. Yeah, tells to me that. Okay, well, let's walk up here and show the staircase and that, how they've done it. There's a lift inside for people. You can go in there and use the lift. It's quite a nice library, it's really well done. It's in the old Alan Murray House building. Almost that was knocked down. It's like my Larry. It's very hot. Quite worn out from the heat. And they're doing stuff here too. Where there's there used to be seats. And from the inside of the library, last time I was in there, you could see the seats still. I don't know why they're taking so long to do anything. But it's been like that for a fair while. I think this year. Mother of Good Council Catholic Church there. And the Good Council School. The old Cane Grove building. So we'll cross over. It'll be a bit longer video than planned, but it's good to show detail. People can look back and see it. Yeah, it's something that I can't show because there's people. That's partly why I go on the weekends and do this sort of stuff in the afternoon. Most of the shops are closed. You can get more of an idea. You can see more. There's a new glass on there or whatever it is. Shy Hall. So I've shown the Shy Hall tour. But you don't get to see too much detail, but it's what they allow. Anyway, so across the road. A bit of history on those Art Deco walk videos and stuff about that. You can see in the videos that I did last year. There's the foyer of the Shire Hall. I had to go lighting. This would be the Art Deco capital of Australia. A lot of people say that. Don't know if that's official, but yeah. Bit of detail there if you want to have a look at it. Pause to read. Another it's a Cyclone Larry sign here to do with it. No, it's a different one. The one I expected the Larry one must be the other end. Anyway, gives you a bit of detail. the van lines. Apparently that's how you say it too, van line. But the boy said. Well, may not have gone for their tours and that, they say that. Yeah, it's a Cyclone Larry one. 20th of March, 2006. The refurbished Johnson Shire Hall, a joint initiative of the Castlebury Coast. Regional Council and the Queensland Government was officially opened by Peter Crossgrove, 4th of July 2009. 2009, there you go. Anyway, we'll continue along, show what we can, while we can. A bit of nice glass and that up there. 
So there used to be businesses down here, like the way that sold single sewing machines and that. I've seen photos of it over the years. Bison's agency. I don't show so much when there's people around, so bear with me. I don't show as much detail as I would like to. But we have walked along here many times. It's good to show when there's people around though. It can be a bustling town. Psychologist up there, where CWRP used to be. Massaging a seasonal worker program. Yeah, support a building here. Hard to show a lot of this, but we'll show it across the road. It's your Dancing Divas work link. Sports look, Karana Hair and Beauty, Vendable and Todd and QITE and that. Tempest Hair and Beauty. Elders Insurance. Yeah, Elders Insurance. Look where we just came from. Towards the Pore and the Shire Hall, Parsons. And then, where the Pork Hazard used to be, you can see the, where the speaker used to be at the top, and where Innisfail MMA was, it's all part of history. Mentioning Innisfail MMA. Tempest Hair and Beauty. Alua Lashes. That's down where the. Um, yeah, where the Christian Bookstore used to be. So down here. All the way down where Bojangles Cafe used to be. To my left used to be the Internet Cafe back in the day. So we're just showing what's around. Huh. Would have been nice if, if the whole lot well, was all like hair and beauty type places. It would have been more interesting. Having a tobacconist here. Yeah, it would have been a lot better if there was no tobacconist here and just some other like a massage place or something like that. It would have been interesting to have here. So what we can. Yeah, lure lashes. A lot of people recommend recommend that place, so definitely worth checking them out. There's NAB, National Australia Bank. Getting to the point where I'm getting a bit of a time limit. Uh, so much I can show. It's where the NFL advocate was at the end. It's now Arnell and Cooper Lawyers. Workforce, job find, you launch. Yeah. That's a very coast reality here. This is all good for history to look back on and see what it was like. So if you were standing here right now, at this particular time, on this particular day, this is what you'd see. This is how I design these. People say, oh, why don't you, when I take photos, they say, why don't you um, remove the power poles and power lines out of shots and, and that. And, um, well, that's not realistic for history. It um, shows it wrong. It's a wrong representation. It's not really. Um, not really historic then, because I wanted that. Like I said, if you're standing here at this particular time, this particular day, this is what you're going to see. And that's, that's how history works. You want it realistic. So if I'm doing a 360 turn standing here on the spot, this is what I see, with the naked eye, and this is what I want you to see to get a true representation. So, you know, it's all about history, it's all about detail, it's all about being able to look back and see exactly what it was like. And this is how it was. Keep saying dragonflies around, it must be the season for them. Is where the National Bank used to be, on the corner of Rankin and Eater Street. That's across the old Anzu where we were before. So we're gonna stand in a few different places I know it's going to be a longer video, but it's worth it in the long run. We'll just show down the main street.
like a nowadays version of a Gary Young video. Have a look at his videos on YouTube. I think it's Computer Gaz or something he calls himself on there. You type in Innisfail Flooding, you'll find his latest flood video from last year, which is quite interesting to watch. Yeah, he's got some old videos from the, from the 90s and that, and different flood stuff and that. Of course, if you type in Innisfail Flooding, you'll get my stuff as well. But, this is the National Bank Customer Car Parking, which really needs doing up. We need to replacing those tiles. And that, but yeah. Oh, there's HD Evolution across there, the old mate's car, Vince. He's one I recommend. People ask about people who transfer video to DVD and things like that, or to USB. He's one I recommend. So I've known him for years and years. And uh, yeah, Vince, if you're at Castor Park, digital, stuff like that, all this stuff. If you need video done for something, HD Evolution is the way to go. You see old um, Burn Travel, which is actually someone in there, so I can't really show too much. I'd love to go in there and do a tour. Let's see what it's like. I can't there's someone in there. I did talk to them once about it, about going in there. But then I never heard anything much from them. They seemed happy for me to go in there and show old pamphlets and things they got in there, travel brochures, to show what used to be uh, used to be the thing. And, yeah. But yeah, leading edge, rented. Covered walkway across to the uh, region arcade, Chemist Warehouse. Brumbies, food emporium entrance, and uh, another unnecessary tobacconist, but anyway, this year, and did smart ATM. Only show what we can show. So, Chemist Warehouse in there. Show a bit of detail now. Well, there's no, no people walking across here so far. So, it's not my will in a minute. This is really well built and well done. A lot of people complain about it over the years. It's hard to see pedestrians in that, but to me, it doesn't. I think it's brilliant. They did it. And there's where the book centre news agency used to be, and it's an Asian store. Highly recommend there. From my experience, not, not they're not um, sponsors of the video. Although I wouldn't complain if they were. It'd be nice to get some sponsorship. Cover my costs. No, I'd give you a good look in there if I had permission. And that, so uh, definitely checked them out there. Cans of soft drink, cold for two dollars. So, what do I go in there for?